All right, level 136, quintuple mains of Ultimate Ship 5. Uh, we're getting pretty close, guys. We're less than 15 <laughs> levels away from the end of this, and the levels are getting trickier, trickier and trickier as they go on, but this this looks like more than nothing but a, a very confusing maze. So let's see what it has to offer. So a quintuple maze, that is five mazes overlapped within one, I am assuming. If that's the case, that's pretty dang impressive. Okay. I hope I was meant to go this way. That's kind of thing with this level is the spaces are four tiles away and I don't know what which way I'm meant to go. I don't know if any of these blue walls are real or fake. I keep mixing those up. I'm sure some of them are. Okay. I'm assuming it's this forgivable. Okay, I can go that way. We haven't had we haven't had a good maze level in a while, so I'm definitely not complaining. Okay, so we're on a different layer now. <clears throat> Which that way's a dead end. That way's a blue lock, so I need to get a blue key up here somehow. And there it is. Okay, this is actually pretty. It's actually pretty straightforward. Maybe the maybe I guess maybe the fact that there's five mazes overlapping to one makes it easier than what it it was intended to be. I'm not. I don't know. Uh, someone made a level. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Um, he's blazing Apollo on CC's own. He made a level called Hyper Complex Maze, and that level is pretty pretty dang legit. I have to admit. Yeah, I can only assume all the blue walls are real. There was no hint stating that though. Though there doesn't always need to be a hint that states that, in my opinion. I think people just expect too much these days out of level design. Yeah, this is a pretty straightforward level. Okay, I'm on a I'm on a layer I've, I've been on already. Sort of. Let's see, where can I go? Okay, I lost track of where I was at. Uh, uh oh. Can I recover from this? I think I can. Okay, this is where I came in. Okay, that's a dead end. That's a dead end. Uh, let's see. Okay, that way's a dead end. That way's a dead end. Yeah, that's a blue lock. Okay. So this way's a dead end too. Am I am I done for? Oh no, there's a blue key. Okay, I lost track of where I was. Okay, so I think the blue lock was up this way. Okay, now I go on to the next one. I think this is the fourth layer. There's there's already a blue key right there. I'm just hitting all the blue walls just in case there's probably some secret hint out there. Or what? I don't know. There there's been some secret hints in this set that I didn't haven't always looked at. Okay, so that was pretty simple. So I would not be surprised if there was one in, in this set or this level. Okay, so I need to go back this way. 
Yeah, there's my blue lock. This is actually a pretty, pretty good maze. I mean, it's it's well designed. I have to, I there is no way I could have had the patience to make a level like this. I mean, the level, what level did I make that took me a long time to make? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm lost again. Oh, there we go. Okay, I can go up there. It's a dead end. That's a dead end, so I am going on, I think the last path? The last overlap? Yeah, this is definitely, definitely well designed, Jeffrey. Like, I have to give you m massive credit for this. Um, I don't think this is submitted for CCLP4, unfortunately. I kind of see why it wasn't. But, okay, the blue key's all the way down there. Sorry if that ooping's getting annoying. But, in case there's a secret hint out there, I would I like to read it, but there probably isn't one, now that I really think about it. Okay. So I've already been on this path. What's this way? I know there are skates somewhere. There they are. Okay, so... I have the skate. I think this lets me exit, right? Yeah, the exit's right there. I want to make sure that none of these walls are fake. Okay, I hit all of them. So, no secret hint, unfortunately. But Quintuple Naze is done. That was a very great level. Uh... I would have I would have put a secret hint out there, honestly, in my opinion, but that's that's fine. All right, incredibly in, inefficient infrastructure. I'll try saying that five times fast. Okay, so this level I don't know what to expect out of it. I have to go this way. When taking a block through the room below, just run. Oh, you go that way. Okay. So this looks like another cramped level. I I think I made my I think I made up my point with how I feel about these kinds of levels. Um Oh. Okay. If you heard that, that's uh Movie Maker in the background. Uh, I had to merge some. I had to merge a video with another. Okay, how do I get in that then? Oh, I had suction boots. I didn't have to. But wait. Okay, I could go back. No, I can't go back. Okay, so I can get suction boots right there, but what Bummer. good does that do me? Bummer. Okay. So there's no sense of getting flippers right there. Maybe I'm meant to get that... Oh, that's how. Okay. Of course there was a gimmick. Problem is, what do I do now? I have two options. I can go back through the teleport. I think that will just make me slide across the to the trap, though. So or the pop-up wall there. So hit that. Bummer. Okay. I think 
I see it. it this doesn't look like a very large level. I, in fact, I think Jeffrey told me a little bit about this level. I don't remember. It's been a while. But he said it's a, it's a small level, so it's not too bad. And it's not, for the most part. Just cramped levels aren't really my thing. Okay. So, if I'm guessing correctly, I can just go ahead and... Can I cut across that? What's up there? Not much. So I'm just going to go back through this way. Um, okay. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. I can't really see up there, so I don't know what to expect. Okay, I'm on the right track, though. <clears throat> I don't think I need to have that glider for anything, do I? Okay, let's go up here. Okay, there's some chips. Can't really see that, but it it is what it is. Yeah, there has to be something underneath that block. Yellow key. Good to know. And I am assuming... Bummer. Oh, really? <laughs> Not cool. Bummer. Okay, I kind of rushed that. I'm just going to push that, and then go back the long way. So I can go up this way, that's unique. Okay, I need to get this. Okay, with a walker, I don't really like that, but... Okay, it exploded, that, so it doesn't matter anymore. Okay, so that button's pressed. I don't know what good that will do, but it's pressed. And I can go back through that. Oh. Okay, so I have to go this way. No if, ands, or buts about it. Okay, so that's all the chips. Now, what do I do? Do I use this block for anything? I must, don't I? Okay, so what can I do with this? Let's just kill the glider, because I'm in MS, so I might as well. It's still doable in Link, so I'm not too concerned about that. Okay, it looks like I need to get that block in the water. Is that right? But I can't do that. So what can I do? Can't do much of anything, can I? There is still that one block... Yeah, there's. I can't turn this block around from where it is. But it's not like I could have pushed it farther anyway because there was fire right there. So. What gives with that? I don't think there was a pop up wall I used. And I, I can't push it back this way because it'll just get stuck on that wall unless I need to push it in the teleport. 
But again, I don't know what good that's going to do. And that trap is closed, so... I think I lost? I can't... I can't tell. I'm pretty sure I lost, though. I, I don't know what to do, though. Like, I don't know how to recover from what I just did. Let's just, let's just see what happens when I do push this in the teleport. Maybe it does go somewhere. And it blocks that off. Okay, so let's... Let's figure this out. So that block I can't do nothing with. Do I... I, I think I see something I can do. Do I need to get that glider? To go in there? I think I do. <sighs> okay, so that is in a loop. I gotta do this thing again. Oh. <sighs> I don't like that timing with the walker. But again, it's a small level. After all, that was not a, that was a really stupid joke, but like yeah, that only took me like 20 seconds to get back to. It's not like there's no safe spot. Okay, so if I hit that, it will just go back through this. Okay, so that allows me to get back through. So what do I use this block for now? So, I have another pair of fire boots I can get, but what, what do I need to do? Like, what reason do I need to take a block down there? Okay, so I get I have the flippers now, so do I need to partial post? I do need the partial post. But what's the point of the other fire boot? I don't want to get it on accident. Oh. <sighs> Damn that freaking ball. I know I don't have to get the blue key right away in, in Microsoft, but I'm playing as if it were Lynx. See, look at that. I mean, it bounces off the ball. I mean, I don't know. I shouldn't complain about that, but still. Okay, I do need to go through this. Okay. 
Okay, so what do I where do I go now with this? Um Was I supposed to get the Seriously? This level's annoying. Like, mostly every level in this set has been good. There's only been maybe five levels I'm not the biggest fan of. This is one of them. But then, I, but I was, I was technically told about this level, so I can't complain a lot. But still. I'm glad that Walker at least cooperates, though. Okay, what's the point of this trap button now? I can only assume... Okay. So maybe I... Maybe I got the thing too early. Okay, so there's my boot. Oh, I think I, I think I see now. I see what I need to do. Right? Why would I need a block in this room, though? Yeah. Why would I, why would I need a block in this room? Let me go get that one off. Oh, I can't. Well, I guess I can. I can go through the teleport up and go this way. Well, I can't really get it off of fire, but I do get fire boots later, so I think I see how the level works now. I think. The difference between me thinking how the level works and actually performing how the level works is com two completely different things. So I'll have to lose every boot I have, but I get fire boots after. It says take when I take a block through the room, just run. So I think I I think I see what I need to do. I need to get that block from below, from back from the thief. I need to come back here, push it this way, go up around, push it down, go back, get fire boots, and push it this way. And when I push on the force floor, I just need to go down with it. But how far do I... I assume I have to turn it around. I have to get a block right here. That's my ultimate goal. My ultimate goal is to get that. Well, let's try it, but no harm in trying, right? I can wait for the ball. Okay, I'm going to hit that toggle button again because I'm not going to be able to get back up through here. Um, that's not what I, was, what I was supposed to do, was it? No. I wish that hint was a little bit more clear on what to do. I didn't think this level would take this long to solve.
Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy that, that Walker at least cooperates. That's the least they can do. Okay, I can go back and get the flippers right away. I have to go I have to go this way with that. Okay. Kinda makes it a little easier. Not really though. I'm still not too huge on this level though. I mean it's it's decent. It's a decent challenge, or a pretty good challenge actually. But at the same time, it's it's annoying. Okay. Try this again. The problem is. I can't get back. What am I doing wrong? I don't even know what I'm doing wrong here. Whoa, how did I do that? Well, it doesn't really exactly help me, but... Somehow I got the block over here, so I can push it into that water space if I want to. What good, what, what good is that going to do me? Because, of course, I have to freaking nail a block across. I only have two blocks to work with, and I need... That block can't be used. I'm not gonna gain anything out of filling that water space, and now that now that I look at it, I'm not gonna get anything out of it. Except I am. I I think I see how this level works now. I just have to be careful with that glider part. Okay, hit this. Nope. Go back and hit this. I don't like this. I, I do not like how I have to do this. Do I have it? Do I have this level? Yes, got it. Incredibly infinite infant structure done. Oh my goodness, that level is nerve wracking. I mean, that glider part, I mean. What is that? Oh. Got an email. Not important. That level was. It was good. I, I liked some parts of it, but it was just... 
Yeah, I don't have much to say about that level. It was very, it was nerve-wracking, that's all I can say. It took, for a really small, compact, I mean, that's probably the, that's probably the best example I can, I can, sh I can show as to why I don't like cramped levels. And that is probably the best example of why I don't like them. They, they can just get taken a little too far, and I think that one took it, took the idea a little too far. Especially with the glider, I mean, there couldn't have been a way to kill it. I mean, I, I guess you couldn't kill it. I guess it had to keep the had to keep the glider from uh, dying. So you have to keep the trap button pressed. But um, I don't know. I, I'm not gonna say much more about it. it. It's done. It's over with. So next time we got another, yet another two levels done. I think that's all the rest of this set. The rest of this LP is gonna consist of is one or two videos completed or one or two levels completed per video at most unless I, I come across an extremely easy level between now and 149 which I highly doubt but um well there is one I know of but that's not told much later but other than that we'll take on this level in the next video so see you later bye bye